What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be doing is adding an enemy tank. So right now we're just kind of playing with ourselves and that's not cool. So what we want to do is go ahead and add an enemy tank. Now since there's just two tanks, um, it's okay to go ahead and um, and just we're just going to copy and paste this function for the most part. Um, and then we're going to just edit the turret position and then yeah, that's that's basically it. So, so just copy the old tank function and then paste. Boom. Now instead of tank, we're gonna call this uh, enemy tank. So enemy underscore tank. And then what we do is we'll um, I guess we just leave all this, but eventually we'll have to change the turret positions because the enemy tank's turret needs to point the other way. Um, but we'll leave those there for now and we'll hit those in a minute. We just want to make sure this tank will even just show up. So, um, so yeah, we'll leave that. Now what we'd want to do is we're going to come down um, to the game loop. And basically where we've defined, um, you've got like these, basically these things, right, that correspond to your tank. Uh, for the enemy tank, uh, I vote we keep things simple. We want the enemy tank for sure to be able to like move uh, because that'll add a degree of difficulty. Otherwise, if the, if the enemy tank can't move, then we'll just lock into the perfect fire and we'll just keep bombarding at that same one. So the game would be kind of boring once we found like the perfect combination of like power and angle. So we do want the enemy tank to move. Um, but as far as the enemy tank like moving his little turret, there's not much point. Uh, the ideal turret position is I like straight up. There's really never going to be a time where you would want like to put your turret down a little bit. We just add it for functionality, but in reality, <laughs> the you know, the turret position that will satisfy hitting every target that's possible is like as high as possible. So uh, we're not going to mess with uh, the tank, uh, the enemy tank's turret very much. We're just going to leave it probably uh, stationary, but. We'll go ahead and leave the code in just in case somebody wants to make the enemy tank like crazy smart or something. And obviously if we didn't have that barrier there, like maybe if you were playing on, uh, you know, some sort of field that, you know, had some terrain maybe and you got close and a straight shot was the smartest shot, but still, even in that scenario, still, you know, you still could hit them by shooting it up. But anyway, enough on that. So let us go ahead and we're just going to add an X and Y for the enemy tank. So we're just going to say enemy tank X. And that is basically going to be kind of like a counter opposite uh, to these ones here. Um, so initially we had done display width and, uh, and then width accidentally. But now uh, we had the right stuff. So I'm going to try and basically do this exact same code. So only just point 0.1, right? So paste that and then make it point 0.1 instead. And then enemy tank Y can equal display height and just be um, point 0.1. Okay. And then now that we've done that, the other thing that we want to go ahead and do is when we call the gun to show up, like right here, uh, this is for our tank, right? And now we want to have the enemy tank. So we'll say um, enemy underscore gun and then enemy gun equals enemy underscore tank. And then we have uh, enemy tank uh, X capital comma enemy enemy tank Y. And then we have, um, for now we'll just throw in current turret position. He will mimic the tur our turret, but we'll just throw it in there now for now, just to make sure that that was working just in case. But um, that's basically it for this. So now we'll go ahead and run that. We'll hit play. Uh-oh. Did we not change something to a point? Oh. <laughs> so, so we modified, uh, the X and Y variables here. Uh, so he's up a little, little too high there. So <laughs> he's way up there. So what we need to do is, uh, so my microphone is like in the way of the scrolly bar. So it's been kind of annoying. I moved it. Uh, so let's go to the very top here <laughs> and fix this problem. Or oh, it's not in the very top, my bad. So where the heck was this? Uh, maybe the top of the game loop? I'm totally lost, yeah. Okay, so X we want 0.1, but Y we still want it to be 
<laughs> 0.9. So let's try that now. So we'll save and run. Play. There we go. Sense is made. Okay. And then as we move our turret, the enemy tank's turret moves just simply because it's tied like directly in. And, uh, oh man, we didn't hit him. Let's try again. Get this guy. Oh. There we go. Perfect shot. Three times a charm. So, so we can move, but the enemy tank can't move. And so that's what I was meaning before. Like, once you found the perfect shot, you would just keep firing at the enemy tank. And that would make for a, a relatively boring game because you would have, like, the perfect shot every single time. So we don't really want that. So we do want the enemy tank to be able to move, like, physically on the map. But his turret position is really um, not, not an issue. So um, we'll close out of this. And uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll start working more on um, the enemy tank's functionality. So right now, he's just, like, spawned <laughs> there. But pretty soon, first of all, we need to move him a little bit. But we also need his turret to face, like, the correct direction. Uh, then he needs to actually fire back at us. And actually, he needs to fire back at us. And he needs to have, like, some sort of artificial intelligence about him. Uh, so we need that. And uh, then we also have to do like damage and all that kind of stuff, like you know, actually a hit that does something. Uh, so we got to do that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll start uh, piling those together, and pretty soon we'll find that we have a pretty pretty cool game. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and until next time.